Now, when we look at the first portion of the trial with efficacy of induction nivolumab, this is sort of the response to nivolumab within the first six months of the, the study period. So prior to their arm allocation, the objective response rate was 14%. There were no CRs that were seen. Um, there were uh, 10 PRs, so a 12% PR rate, and there was one unconfirmed PR. Now, when we look at the arm A patients, 12 patients, as I stated, had, were allocated to arm A, 5% or five patients, 42% remained off nivolumab at one year post-treatment discontinuation. And one patient actually was able to achieve a CR, but this was after 16.9 months of treatment. Um, now, when we look at the arm B patients, um, these are the people who had stable disease or had progressive disease and had uh, ipilimumab added to that nivolumab backbone. Um, the rate of conversion to a CR or PR was actually quite low at 4%. There was only two patients that actually converted to a PR um, and there were no CRs that were observed. And of those two patients who converted to a PR, both had been previously treated and both had PD as best response to nivolumab induction. At the time that the data was locked for this study, 54 of the 57 patients um, that were allocated to arm B had actually discontinued treatment. And um, uh, the primary reason for treatment discontinuation was actually disease progression. Um, looking at overall survival for the total cohort, just sort of uh, to put this in context um, with other studies in the field, the 18-month OS was 79%, median have not yet been reached. 